welcome back to my channel okay i know i said i wasn't going to do this but as you've seen from the title i did another makeup video so let me give you like a bit of a backstory behind this so p louise is a makeup brand and also the owner of the makeup brand that basically released a competition about a week ago from when i'm recording this where they, if you had to recreate one of their looks and if and you upload it onto Instagram and then if that look got like 10,000 likes which was like you had to get 10,000 likes they would give you the entire P. Louise collection and I was going to do it because before I found out that it was only on Instagram I was going to do it and upload it on TikTok but then I found out it was only on Instagram I have such a small following on Instagram I was like zero point doing it like zero point so, I was like, okay, I um, will create a YouTube video of creating a look just because I want to do it anyway, because I think it'd be quite fun. So I've gone through that Instagram and I'm going to recreate this look here. Because I feel like it's, because some of their stuff is immense, like it's so complex and I do not have the skills for it. So I feel like this is kind of complex, well, kind of simple, but yeah, it's also a little bit difficult. Like there's a couple of things that I can't do where like she has like, pink in her waterline but I don't have a pink eyeliner so we're just gonna have to leave that out or I might put black in it just to see but I feel like I could get this down to a T. Darling don't guess yourself. And I'm also gonna try a couple things I've seen recently on TikTok where like people conceal the ends of their eyebrows and then do them a different colour and I think like do them pink because obviously the looks pink I think it'll be quite cool. So I'm actually quite excited for this. So let's get into it. I'm gonna bring you guys in a bit. And I'm gonna put my hair back. Ugh. I literally haven't done like, cause I'm gonna tr do like a proper full coverage. And if you've ever seen like my other makeup videos, I don't like full coverage. I'm very much a light coverage person. Cause obviously I have blemishes full coverage just probably won't agree with me but I'm so excited to actually try this so I think I'll, I always do my brows first anyway and also because my brows are quite dark I'll put my mirror there because uh, my brows are quite dark I feel like it's just going to take me a while to conceal the ends so how's everyone doing oh I feel like I say this in every like sit down video I do I'm like oh my god how's everyone doing I can't hear a word you're saying. It's basically what day is it today? It's Saturday, the 6th of June, and I don't have work today, so that's why I'm doing this video now because I'm not doing it on a day I have work because I would not wear this out, <laughs> not lying. But it's raining, and I'm kind of happy because I'm one of those people, also, I've never done these brows before, so they might go terribly wrong. We'll just, we'll just see what happens, okay. Um, I'm one of those people that loves the rain. I love it so much. It's cosy. I actually wished for it yesterday. I went, I want a thunderstorm, and I'm hoping I'm going to get it. Although, right now, it's just rain. Also, I've noticed with P. Louise as well is that their brows are quite fluffy. Um, so, I kind of probably should have done soap brows, but I don't have a bar of soap. Let me just. Oops. So I'm just going to try and do them like that and then I will get um, brow gel and just fluff them out. I'm also, also I don't have any of the P. Louise collection um, so I'm just going to use what I have and I'm probably going to use mainly the James Charles palette in this look just because of the variety. Do you know that thing where everyone was like shaving off their brows? I know like the ends of their brows. Um, to get like the fox brow look kind of thing. I was actually tempted to do it. But... Oh, you know what, I feel like it's actually quite simple. I'm literally just going to pack it on. Okay, no. Okay. No, no, no. No. Wipe that off. Okay. Retry, retry. I should probably do it how drag queens do it with glue, but it's just a whole lot of effort to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so I think I've done it. I think it looks okay. I can't really tell. Could look rubbish. But, you know, P. Louise is all about creativity. So I think I quite like it. Also, if you hear squeaking in this video, it's the chicks. They're literally right behind me. Um, and also I'm not going to move them because that's where heat lamp is. So <laughs> I'm going to try and probably cut out as much as I can. But if I'm doing something key, then I can't cut it out. So I'm going to come back once I've done the other eyebrow and then we're going to get on to that eye look. So I somehow lost the footage of me putting the eyeshadow on my eyelids and blending it out and everything. So I do apologise. Oh, sorry. Oh, right, so I think I'm going to cut the crease now. So, concealer you know, on the back of my hand. When I was younger, not younger, like three years ago. Yeah, three years ago, so I wasn't that much younger than I am now. It's like 15. I used to be obsessed with like colourful makeup looks. Like if I ever went to like, a party or something, I'd always have a colourful makeup look. Um, and then I grew up and I just stopped. Breathe. There we go. Let's go with this hot pink actually. I actually don't like it. So we're going to go in with a tiny detail brush and basically get in this that dark plum purple again basically just put this mm -hmm. above the crease to just again deepen it up because I think that's the issue right now is it's just not dark enough I think it looks okay, okay I'm not actually mad at it I'm not mad at it so the next thing is these little dots so I'm just going to go over the next thing is those dots to do so what I was actually going to do is just get my concealer and uh, don't try and say anything she's got black white so basically on the lower lash line she's got pastels I think that's the pastels that she's put on the dots there oh my god this look has taken me so long to do it's like innovative 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 in, I think that's the word innovative anyway way of this is my way of gonna do the dots cocktail sticks I'll try that and use the ends I'm gonna start with just the normal concealer shade um, and just see what happens okay it's kind of working okay so this is as far as my camera zooms in so sorry about that and then I've got a black eyeliner. Oh, so I can do some black dots. So basically all I've done through the create shades is use my concealer. Tap off some eyeshadow. Oops, this is not being circles. Tap off some eyeshadow. I think there's enough dots. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then my base as well off camera and I'll be back. So the eyes and base are done. So I have foundation on, cream contour and concealer. Although this look has taken me an hour. Like this eye is not as good as this eye, okay, I know that, but I could not be bothered with it. So, just ignore that. Oh, dog's barking, so ignore that too. So this, basic, basically, <laughs> basically, this look is a very, um, blush. It's got a lot of blush on it, and it looks like pink highlighter. 
I use the Milani baked highlighter and just go ham basically. This looks very pink, so I might have to put pink out there on. But if I carry on wearing this look, I might take it off immediately. Just because I don't want my skin to be like, oh my god. So the fish off the eyes. So we're going to take. So basically, the lower lash line, it just looks like purple blue, yellow, and then put lashes on as well. I was just do doing my lashes, and I was just cleaning them, getting like the lash glue off. Oh my god, where's it gone? You can just see that this massive gap here, freaking broke. So it's gonna take me ages now to try and get that to line up. Oh god sakes, man. Lashes are on. This is like, Mm, it's not very peachy, but it's the pinkiest one I own. I had the Sophie palette, Sophie X palette, but I had a nice one and that would do good, but I can't find it. Therefore, we have to just go with this. Okay, it's not very pink at all. And there we go. This is my attempt at it. I do what's her look she's like. I feel like it looks okay to be honest. Did I do good? Leave your thoughts on the makeup look in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.